I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and this is a look at uh, monitoring your watering with the North Plant Sensor. So this is a little sensor I've shown in other videos. It's about $12. You can get it at Walmart, and it actually is a Bluetooth device you put in next to a plant in your garden, and you can connect to it in an app and monitor metrics about your plant, including the soil moisture level. So this would tell you when to water your plants so you're not having to guess and um, you can actually enter the specific plant you're monitoring. So in this case, I'm monitoring a tomato plant. You can see the plant itself and the sensor in the little window in the upper left there. And then you can see in the foreground here the app that I'm using. And in other videos, I've shown how to actually set this app up in the first place. But here's the metric screen, and you can see that the soil moisture level is reading 20, uh, 20%. It should be in the 22 to 70% range. So I'm gonna go ahead and, um, and check this and see if I actually water the plant, if we see an increase in that soil moisture level. So I've got my hose, I'm gonna spray some water in here. Um, again, as I've said before, probably best not to do what I just did, which is spray the sensor directly, uh, but kind of water around it. I'm gonna, like I normally would, water the whole planter around my tomato plant here. And you can see as I'm doing that, the moisture level is actually starting to increase. So the sensor seems to be doing a good job of actually monitoring my soil moisture level. Uh, I'm going to really get this nicely watered. And you can see it's increasing up to, at this point, it's at a 54%. Um, so that actually seems to be uh, working really well at monitoring my moisture level. Um, you can see the soil fertility changed, interestingly. And that kind of confirms what I suspect. I don't know how it's monitoring soil fertility, but I think it must be using the conductance of the soil somehow. Um, so you can see that number is actually going up. Probably the soil has become more conductive uh, as I've added more water to it. Um, I don't know if that means that the device is being fooled by the addition of water or if it's actually true that by adding the water I've sort of circulated the nutrients around in the soil and now it's monitoring that and seeing that the soil fertility has increased. Um, in another video I'll look at that more closely, but you can see the moisture level actually has done a, a pretty good job of monitoring that increase in the watering. And then throughout the day as the sun comes out and the plant gets heated up and some of that water evaporates, I imagine that that number will start to drop, and then I can see when it's below the target range of 22 to 70 percent, I can go back and water again. So again, a really helpful way for $12 to monitor your smart garden and see when it's time to water your plants, and also to see when you've added enough water so that you're back within the target range, so you're not wasting water by unnecessarily watering the plant that's already got enough moisture in the soil. Uh, if you found this helpful in any way, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps.